Well, how are you? Welcome back to my Caliente Kitchen. This is Manuel Villacorta, registered dietitian. And I am here in California, San Francisco. I always like to know where you're watching me from. And look at this beautiful thing. I love grilling. Now, uh, I want to know what vegetables and fruits you like to grill and what would you like to do with them. Uh, anyhow, I don't know if you knew this, but this month is National Fresh Fruits and Vegetables Month. And this is why I decided to do seasonal fruits and vegetables grilling. Now, I want to take this time to thank and salute all growers and farmers for their hard work. Because of them, we have these beautiful fruits and vegetables here sitting on my table and in your table. So thank you. All right, so uh, what's in season now? Well, we have strawberries, different sort of chili peppers, corn, mm, love corn, bell peppers, avocados, strawberries, Anyhow, so I decided to do a little bit of these vegetables in the grill. Now, I live in an apartment in San Francisco and I don't have a patio, I don't have an outdoor grill. So I was like, we can do this indoors. So one of the ways you can do this is by buying this uh, stovetop grill, put it on the stovetop, of course, here I have an electrical stovetop, or also, my air fryer. I love this air fryer. So th these both ways you can actually grill or roast vegetables as well. So I'm gonna, so what I did really is uh, cut the vegetables, spray some oil. I'm gonna spray some oil there too. And then season it with sea salt and that's it. And then of course if you want to get more creative, you can. But then I'm going to show you different ways you can eat these vegetables. So for now, I'm going to actually uh, raise the temperature here and switch. They've been cooking now for about 20 minutes. This little uh, electrical stove top that I have is not as powerful. Actually, this morning when I was trying this recipe here in my home and the real stove top, uh, the fire uh, sound went on and it was dramatic at 5 a.m. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm gonna actually hold this with this. I don't wanna burn myself. And I love to grill avocados. I don't, I don't know if you have done this before. They're so good. Now, grilling uh, definitely brings the flavors out and uh, the sugars, and this is why vegetables taste so good when they are uh, you know, brown like this, because you caramelize the carbohydrates, the natural sugars in the vegetables. They're so good. Now, now here I have fruit. I love grilling fruit too. And I'm gonna actually turn this around. And then I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do with these beautiful fruits. And I have peaches here, which are also in season by the way. And then uh, strawberries, so good. Now, remember, I always tell, eat all the colors of the rainbow because different colors of the rainbow provide different phytonutrients, antioxidants that can provide different health benefits. So we know that eating more fruits and vegetables also makes us happy, so increases our mood. And we're in the summertime right now for the next three months and we have probably the most abundance of fruits and vegetables of the entire year. So take advantage of these beautiful fruits and vegetables and eat half a plant. It doesn't matter how many, just have more fruits and vegetables. All right, so now that I have, I'm gonna wait a little longer here, but if you have questions regarding fruits and vegetables or weight management or any other nutrition question, let me know. I'm gonna actually grab my phone now and see if you have any questions. I wanna read also, tell me where are you watching me from and what vegetables you like to grill, what fruits you like to grill, if you grill fruits. A lot of people don't are used to grilling fruits so much. All right, so let's see. All right. 
where is my video here? I'm going to go to your questions. Uh, guess I need to um, refresh the page. There we go. There we are. Okay. So, where we are? There we are. It's going live right now. All right. So, again, let me know. Uh, what vegetables and fruits you like to grill. I would love to know that. And uh, anyhow, so now that we have grilled these fruits and vegetables, I'm gonna show you a few ways that how I like to eat them. Uh, definitely, I am a plant-based dietitian. I support a plant-based diet, but plant-based doesn't mean that you need to cut out animal products or meat completely. So I'm gonna use some of that as well, but remember, most of my plate is always more plants. So here I have grilled chicken, and I always like to combine my carbohydrates, my, I'm sorry, my macronutrients, which can help me fill up, helps with the metabolism, and also if you're trying to, you know, reach a goal weight, it helps to, to combine your macronutrients when you eat a meal. So we have your meat, my protein, if you eat meat. I have grilled chicken here. I'm gonna grab one of these corns that I have grilled already. And this one, by the way, was grilled here as well. And I have used also the air fryer to uh, grill my corn. It came out beautiful. They both came out about the same. Now I'm gonna add my good fat avocado which it has monounsaturated fats, good fats are great. And by the way, the fat, the fat in avocado can help absorb all the nutrients in the plants, especially the fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E, and K, the fat-soluble phytonutrients and antioxidants. So it's a booster. So you wanna eat fat with your vegetables. And let's add a you know, little red and green. And here we have now a balanced plate, <clears throat> let's not, oh, I like the mushrooms too. Mushrooms, I love mushrooms because they provide umami flavor. Umami wakes up your fifth receptor, the umami receptor, and everything tastes so much better. All right, so here we have a beautiful uh, plate that it has a healthy carbohydrate, grilled chicken, good fats, and vegetables amazing stuff. Who will not want to eat this? All right, so this is fantastic. Now, now next, uh, I'm going to show you the vegetables that I have been cooking here. Now, they're probably ready now, and I'm going to take them out and put them on a little bowl and show you here in a second. So the air fryer also helps you with, um, you know, grilling or roasting your vegetables. Hold on one second. I'm gonna show you this inside. And look how beautiful they look. Actually, nice and toasted and roasted. And I'm gonna actually taste one now. Mm. Mm. All I did is put a little bit of olive oil, sea salt, garlic powder, 22 minutes, voila. I actually have to, you know, stir them a bit halfway, but that's it, simple. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is dessert. And I'm gonna do this with these grilled vegetables, I'm sorry, fruits. And look at this, the caramelization is happening now from the fruit. This is gonna taste so good. So for that, I actually gonna use Greek yogurt. And uh, here's my bowl. Put a little bit of Greek yogurt here. Greek yogurt, as you know, is a good source of probiotics. Probiotics uh, can help with gut health and uh, also it's good protein. And I'm gonna just, uh, actually, hold on one second. Grab this, this one is cooked the most. And pour one in there. And really, <clears throat> that is my dessert right there. Look at that beauty, so good. And now you have grilled fruit 
with Greek yogurt. Amazing stuff, delicious. These I'm going to taste too as well. And <clears throat> tell you in a second. Mm. Very good. <clears throat> All right. So I have a blog. If you want to see more of these kind of recipes, visit manuelvillacorta.com and you can learn more about what I do and also you can read uh, and see most of my recipe videos as well. Again, I want to thank all the farmers and growers for their hard work and this is why we have these beautiful fruits and vegetables that can help us with our health and make us happy. So my friends, have a plant and I'll see you next time. Take care now.